All right, you guys, what's good? It's Mr. Charge Go himself, man. So recently, I'm so devoted to Mr. Charge Go's channel, that, the other Mr. Charge Go, so devoted to the channel that I decided, you know, take one of my rental cars and just scrape up the bottom of it, man, just so we could get some good content for you guys. Yeah, show him the little scrape. You know, got a little hickey on his neck, but it's, you know, it's nothing to, nothing to fret over. Why? Because we got the Touch Up Direct package in the mail they actually reached out to us trying to really cook up a sponsorship we said well we got to make sure the product is good before we bring it to the people the people Are you excited bro yeah oh uh -huh. we're about to make this car look brand gloves. new again wow yeah, it's gonna be good as new i got a good feeling about it. and they got the black gloves wow in the video we watched they have white gloves See. that's racist why did they send me the black one Bruh. questions i'll be i'll be needing an answer before we do go on with the sponsorship Welcome to the Tud family, okay. Total was 8760, only because I did the faster shipping option. You know, big pockets, had to, had to get it right for the uh, for the channel. So we're about to see if we could really fix this. I mean, this is like a, a major, major L that we took on this bumper. It's for the channel. It's for the channel though, and here's where we do the ghetto science experiments of the Tesla community. Sure, they got to give us three little mark pen slash uh, brushes. What's this one? Okay, so this is the clear coat. This is the waterborne. Okay, okay I don't know what just waterborne oh and this is waterborne as well okay basically i think this is the paint and this is the clear coat yo what's up with the primer though so it looks like we got one primer one paint one clear coat oh okay it says base coat so that's like the primer i assume mid coat and then what i like to call the clear coat final touch all right guys so that's basically what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to band-aid this for now it ain't gonna be perfect it's probably but... gonna look better than ever though if you ask me it'll probably look better than before <laughs> that's oh, true there's one more sorry there's one more this is the primer Oh, there you go. So there's four pens that come with it. Primer, mid. Okay, cool. So they gave us a primer, mid coat. Yeah. Other coat. Yeah. So, so you know how we do it here, guys. We do a ghetto. Instead of spending a rack on a new bumper, getting it professionally painted and all that, we're gonna do some backyard stuff, Malibu boy style. All right, guys. Now watch closely what I'm doing. This isn't for shits and giggles, okay? This is what's gonna get your car right. This is gonna be the difference between you walking around in a trash bag versus you in a glimmering little Tessie, okay? This isn't for rookies, okay? But still, try this at home. So you gotta wipe this thing down. Get it nice and clean. And just vibe with the car more than anything. Just vibe with it. All right, guys, we hit a little uh, bump in the road. And honestly, not so sure about the sponsorship anymore. They didn't give us sandpaper, so I had to go find some in my house, and I'm hoping this works. But I'm a little thrown off. How could you do this without, you know, sanding it down? It's like paint repair one-on-one. How -on -one. could I've ever done it before, but... I think I should wet it. Probably, yeah. I think wet sanding's a thing. You think wet sanding's a thing? But you gotta go to town on it so that when we do apply the paint and stuff, the it, surface is smooth and it doesn't like show the exactly the how did they not give us the sandpaper touch up direct you're gonna get an email because i don't know if it got left because there was three different kits we could have gotten so i don't know if they just this kit doesn't come with it or they left it out yeah but for 90 bucks it should come with it you also got to hit that other spot this one that pimple yeah bro yeah <laughs> that does look like a pimple yeah i'm just like not i don't even know what to do with that one how you guys think this happened? The bumper got some sort of pimple thing going on. You gotta wash your face more. Yeah. They gotta use some proactive. Dirty pillows. <laughs> Not drinking enough water. And by the way, folks, that's just the glare. The bumper isn't that messed up. You see that stuff on the front bumper? It's like glare from the water. Oh, this? Yeah, they might oh, be yeah, like, damn, yeah. that bumper's messed yeah. up. <laughs> Y'all are not addressing the major issues. All right, guys, watch closely what I'm going to do here. I'm flipping this around because this part's drier than the other part, you know? Yeah. Where else can you get this type of value, this type of info, you know? Chargego.com. Chargego.com, exactly. You got a website? Nope. Oh. <laughs> it's on the way. I'm getting hella uncomfortable in this position. It's all about the technique, guys. Oh, Make sure you stretch before this. Got to. <laughs> oh, okay. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. What's up, guys? So, we had a little uh, oh, pimple on the bumper. And I think when the bumper creased, the plastic got deformed. So, we're going to try to use a heat gun. We can make this a lot worse or we might fix it. I got a good feeling about this, bro. I feel this thing's about to die. Yeah, I think so. We might need to charge it. it. We might have to charge. Go it. <laughs> Get it? 
still appalled that they didn't give us sandpaper because now it's nice and smooth. We would not have had a smooth product at the end of this. Yeah, email's coming. All right, so next up, wax and grease remover. <laughs> so now we gotta make this surface super clean before we apply the primer. And that's what we're doing right now. It's basically an alcohol wipe. Yeah, it was like you said. It smells just like alcohol. You wanna make it really clean, cause if you don't, it's gonna show. But it's already pretty ghetto to begin with, so like, I don't really think it matters that much. That is pretty true, honestly. Now watch closely how I'm doing this. I'm taking the cloth and putting it on the car and wiping. I'm good, bro. You, you okay? I'm good, bro. You geeking, bro. I'm good. Bro, bro. bro. bro get off me. I'm good. Oh, you know what, bro? It felt way smoother before. You guys want to make sure you're working with a very smooth surface. So, looks like we're going to have to sand one more time, even though we thought it was pretty smooth. Then, we're going to get ready for primer. All right, guys. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. My arm's tired. My legs are tired. You know, sometimes you just got to go in. So we're not going to go any instruction manuals from here on out. We're just going to start going and just, just see how this how this turns out, man. Sometimes you just got to dive in. Is this the primer? Okay, there you go. Two sides. Marker side. Paint side. We're going with the paint. Why? Because we big dogs. This is charge go. Not charge don't go. Big difference. Big difference. Just use this how you do your nail polish? Sometimes. Maybe you should, maybe you should switch out. You're probably more used to doing this no oh, missed a spot if you ever miss a spot rub it off with your finger yeah that's what's in the manual right yep okay well you know fuck it now i understand why they talk about be so uh you know careful and shit it wouldn't be a charge go video if it wasn't ghetto exactly exactly so this is where we can really see your stroke game right oh no nah, no nah. i'm not i'm not this delicate no nah, no nah, that's for sure ha huh. I'm already getting nice at this. This type of little thing, much better for the marker side, not the brush side. This man was setting me up for failure and I won't do it. I got a plan. I'll be right back, I got a plan. All right, you guys, I am now comfortable in a good position to take care of the car. My back isn't hurting anymore. Don't need any lack of back support to worry about. Nothing. We are in business. Yeah, hey guys, so the manual said you need a yoga mat and you need to be laid out like that, feet kicking. It's all about comfort. There you Namaste. go. Namaste. You got to innovate. You got to innovate. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. This is way better than before. Hey, bro, you think this is going to be a disaster? Most definitely. Yeah, I'm starting to just like wonder now because I'm like, wow, this really is a lot of surface area for this <laughs> little ass brush. Yeah. We probably should have just repainted the entire bumper, but yeah, we ghetto. Gone somewhere pro. But you know what, man? That doesn't make for good content. It's all for the people, man. That's right. If we don't do it, then no one else is going to do yeah, it. Yeah, who will? I also loaned JC my uh, mint green Tesla. I just prefer the white meat personally. That's why. This is wild. Hey, guys. So this is going to take a hot minute because it's like... A fat chunk of the bumper of the, the paint is gone, so it's gonna be nighttime by the end of this video. Probably. We'll get back to you in a minute. Dude, I'm when the primer's the primer. done. Alright. I'm gonna let this coat chill and then I'm gonna go back at it. I honestly don't think we're gonna have enough primer left for a second coat. I'm not gonna blame that on touch it up direct, cause this is definitely bigger than anything they advertise fixing. Hey, but I didn't do that bad of a job. Here, get a zoom in. Considering my circumstances. Oh yeah, this thing is gonna look good as new. Dude, honestly, you would not even know anything happened to that car. We could stop now and the video would just be a wrap. Maybe I'll just throw some chapstick on it. I just got some chaps lit chap lips now. Time for coat number two. Coat number one was a vibe. It is round two. I like how close the camera is, but you really can they can really just capture my essence. Man, this should leak on my back leaking out the problem here's the problem bro look how much little is on the brush and all this is just on the stick come on touch up direct come on guys you'll be hearing from our lawyers yeah you know what take out the part where i showed how much i paid for it i'm just gonna start saying that they sent us all this stuff i don't know why you guys sent us this kit and you had so much stuff leading out like you know we appreciate the sponsorship offer and stuff 
But you know what? We got to keep it 100 with the viewers. Our reputation's on the line. Okay, okay. Honestly, hey, they did give a good amount of primer, though. Will not lie to you. Yeah, guys, so we're going to put the second coat on. We're going to let it dry. We'll sand it down a bit so it's as smooth as a baby's butt. Oh, yeah, I did sand down in between, just so y'all know. Yeah. A little bit of sanding. A little bit of sanding, and then we'll be good to apply the paint. We're going to do three coats of paint, and then we'll see how many coats of clear we're going to do. Bottom of the car is hella dirty. Dude, you should see what this shit looks like. Looks like someone spilled tomato juice down here. But yeah, all right. Second coat of the primer has been applied. Speaking of primer, there goes Amazon Prime right now with another shipment of products that have probably been sent our way from a lot of the brands that have been reaching out to us for sponsorships. We won't mention them here, but in later videos, you'll see. This is how we looking after two coats of primer. And probably sand it down a little bit. Then we'll add some paint. We're going to sand it down one more time before we start applying the paint. Touch up, look, touch up. Some parts is kind of globby, so I guess I should just sand it all like hard, I guess. Ah. You guys gonna be sore after doing this, I'm telling you. Yeah, unless you it's... don't have a big ass freaking scrape on yours. <laughs> Hopefully it's just like a scratch. I went all in for the channel, man. All right, I can't lie. I'm feeling much better about this after sanding this down hard. It was just like elevated, like globby. But now, I'm starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. Oh my God, my arm is sore. Y'all can take a day off from the gym if y'all doing this. This is a little, little workout. We're almost ready for that coat though. See how fast I'm going, bro? Oh, fuck. Looks like you got experience. Much experience. I'm about to get a hand cramp. All right, I'm going to do this for like a little longer. And then we out. All right, guys. So now is the base coat. Just saying, not to not touch up direct anymore. But if we didn't have this sandpaper, this would have been straight garbage. Not going to lie to you. Oh, I got to adjust my mat. That sandpaper made a huge difference. All right. Now watch closely, you guys. This is not a game. Ooh, okay, okay. This one's waterier than the primer. Okay, this is not going to take as long as the primer did. So this is the first coat of... The uh, base coat. Of the base coat. And then we got a mid coat to do after, but we'll probably do two coats of this, right? Yeah, I think so. That's probably the move. Yeah, I noticed when you first put it on, you're like, yo, this thing is back white. Like, this is perfect. But it, it kind of fades out quickly. Not that it's not supposed to do that, but, like, just don't be surprised if, like, it's you're going to be let down. If you see that first stroke and be like, oh, it's back white. As you can see, it kind of went back gray. But it's a work in progress. All right, y'all. Quick recap and status update. You could already see it looks better. Uh, so far, we hit it with the primer. That's that gray stuff you see. Hit it with the uh, base coat. I did two coats of this one. And it already, it looks looks not too bad. I can't lie. I'm, I'm feeling more optimistic about this now. And I, I've sanded in between every time. So again, we might not do this sponsorship uh, if they're not going to be, you know, providing people with sanding paper because that shit was a must. Can't lie. All right. Wait, let me make sure I got the right one. Mid coat. Here we go. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, this thing is gonna look better than it ever did. All right, guys, we're like four hours in, maybe three, three hours. Three hours. It's cold out here, so the paint's taking a longer time to dry. But what are we doing right now? We're getting this second coat of the mid uh, mid coat. I'm a little nervous because after this, the only thing is the clear coat. And it's not that white. I cannot lie to you. We might have to do a third. No, you know what? I think they did three coats. We might have to do a third coat of this one. Yeah. And I low-key want to sand it again, bro. It's like kind of a build-up. I still don't think I can put this on touch-up direct. I think it's just more the fact that it was such a big scrape. And they're more for, like, scratches. and Or at least they show more for scratches and stuff. But it still needs to match the car, though. Exactly. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know what? Fuck Touch Up Direct. <laughs> Just fuck them, bro. Unless it comes out nice. 
But I don't know, man. As we get closer and closer, my optimism is starting to wane. All right, this is our last coat of the mid coat. I'm hoping things start coming together. You guys could tell the energy's died out because it's getting dark on us. We got the other Model 3 over there giving us some light for the viewers. We got my other Model 3 giving us some light. Yeah. The one I got wrapped. Yeah, there you go. It's nothing. And after this, we're probably going to do a few coats of clear and hopefully it comes out pretty solid. But honestly, as long as it looks good from a distance, because I know, man, that's what it's starting to come to. I'm like, all right, hopefully it won't be super like noticeable, but I'll be pissed if I buy this and then I got to actually go to someone professional and be like, yeah, man. So I tried, but it didn't work out. No bueno. Yeah, in most cases, you got to repaint the entire bumper for something like this. That's probably what body shops would recommend. But we're budget and ghetto and it's just what we do. It's for the viewers, man, just so they have, you know, they have stuff they could do at home. You yeah. know, maybe I'll just get the car wrapped. Should I do that? Yes, you should. Guys, put it down in the comments if he should get his car wrapped like that one over there. Yeah, what's a good color? I'm going to do it in the future. Right now, I just figured for the rentals, I'd ride out the whole 2022. Just because there's not that many 2022s on the platform. So, you know, it's a commodity. But yeah, if you guys don't know already, this car's on Turo. So, if you guys want to rent yeah. this car with this... Uh, interesting diy work on the front bumper hey nah y'all won't check even the know. link down below you can find it on turo it's gonna be spotless watch in fact you know what? this isn't the if, if you run a white one i'm just gonna say it's a different white one and you'll probably believe me because it's gonna be so impeccable i feel like i could do this for a living all right guys so while he's talking this nonsense <laughs> we are going to finish this coat let it dry then we're gonna go to a clear coat and hopefully it looks good. What do you mean hopefully, bro? It's right, gonna right, look you're good. Right, you're right. It's gonna look perfect. All right, one thing I'll say or that I've learned, first off, I can see the sparkles in this one. So that's cool. It really does do like the pearl white, how the car itself sparkles. I do see the sparkles, but now it's making me feel like maybe we should have done more layers of the base coat. Cause this, I feel like is more like that polishing touch. I know it's not the clear coat, but just the way it's making it sparkle, I kind of wish I had done one more layer of that base coat. But you know what? You live and you learn. So now y'all will know. The next time you got to repaint the entire bumper with that little brush, you'll be good. This little ass nail polish brush. Yeah, but we should have just grabbed a paintbrush or something. But you know what? You live and you learn. And this has been kind of fun, bro, you know? Just getting to kick it with my dog. It was never even really about the car, bro. It was just about hanging with my boy and making the content, you know? Yeah, we honestly thought this would take like an hour, maybe two hours, but now it's nighttime, almost, and it's cold, and it's not as fun anymore. <laughs> How we looking? Hmm, what you think, man? Yeah, think, so... The clear coat's gonna get it? Yeah, so you could tell, like, this is pretty matte, obviously. It doesn't have any clear on it. It's just the paint, the raw paint, compared to, obviously, this stuff that got clear. So I'm thinking when we do a few co coats of clear, it's gonna blend in a lot better, because right now... It looks like it's not matching the paint, but you know, there could be a lot of other things that went wrong, but we need to apply a few coats of clear. And I think- You gotta be positive, man. Should be good, yeah, yeah. You gotta no, keep gonna your be spirits good. high. Uh, oh God, and if this doesn't work out, I'll just cop a new one. Just be my, this one could just collect dust or something or just, you know, just have it parked. Let's see, that's how Rizzy Gang rolls. Oh God, I'll just drop a new single. Use that to buy the next one. Yeah, when his when his car gets dirty, he just buys another one. Oh Whatever. God, yeah, I don't I don't do car washes. I just do new cars. I ain't all Is right. this a clear? Yep. All right, guys. So we're we're gonna be applying the clear, and we'll get some footage after the clear is applied, at least the first coat, to see how it looks. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, you know, wait, here. Let me get out the light. It's it's not perfect. It is not. Per I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It's not perfect. It actually looks a little bit better in the camera but i don't know is it super noticeable i guess we'll see i'm gonna see how it plays out in the next few days i'm not gonna totally condemn uh touch up direct i feel like it was just a a big space to deal with looking back i would have done more on the mid coat so now that y'all y'all can know the difference the mid coat sorry more of the base coat not the mid coat the base coat is what's giving you like that white color so you want to really like layer that up till you see your color the way you want it because that's the issue is i still see the primer it's a little too gray under um, the mid coat makes it like gives it that sparkle makes it more like how the Tesla like shines to it So that's what that puts in and then you put the clear coat Once you're at the point of the clear coat if it's already looking like this It's only gonna do so much it kind of just smoothed it out But you know what it was a learning process and I'm not gonna lie to you 
I might just sand all this down if I don't like the way it looks in a couple days and just repeat the process. Um, but yeah, you know what? Better than where we started. A lot later than where we started, but better. And we out this bitch. No, I'm just playing.